Plant Nutrition, Photosynthesis. Objectives of Lesson The learners must know the following at the end of this lesson. Schematic representation of photosynthesis. Differences between photosynthesis and respiration. Main segments involved in photosynthesis. Understand the importance of photosynthesis. Understand light and dark phases of photosynthesis. Storage of food. Understand and understand organs involved in food storage. Factors affecting the rate of photosynthesis. Understand the manipulation of plants to increase the rate of photosynthesis. Introduction. Previous content covered in term 2 should be linked to current content. Non-living organic matter. The purpose of the following lesson is to identify the content related to plant. Nutrition photosynthesis. Concepts and skills. Plant nutrition photosynthesis. What is photosynthesis? It is the production of carbohydrates by chlorophyll containing plants using sunlight, carbon dioxide, and water. With the release of oxygen. Autotrophic organisms are organisms that can produce their own food e.g. plants. This happens in the leaves of green plants during the process known as photosynthesis. Schematic representation of photosynthesis. The roots of the plant absorb water. The water moves with the stem up to the leaves. The leaves absorb carbon dioxide from the atmosphere. The massiful tissue of the leaves contains chloroplasts as well as enzymes. The chloroplast pigments and enzymes use the energy in the sun's rays to convert water and carbon dioxide to oxygen and carbohydrates. Oxygen leaves the leaves to the atmosphere through the process of transpiration. Carbohydrates are stored in the leaves and stems of the plant. The difference between photosynthesis and respiration. Photosynthesis respiration. Photosynthesis is an anabolic slash building process. Molecules are formed. Respiration is a catabolic slash degradation process. Molecules are broken down. Photosynthesis, carbohydrates in which energy is stored are formed. Respiration, carbohydrates are broken down and energy is released. Photosynthesis, carbon dioxide is absorbed from the atmosphere. Respiration, carbon dioxide is released into the atmosphere. Photosynthesis, oxygen is released into the atmosphere. Respiration, oxygen is absorbed from the atmosphere. Photosynthesis, water is absorbed from the soil. Respiration, water is released into the atmosphere. The pigments involved in photosynthesis. Chloroplasts contain different pigments first. Chlorophyll. The carotene. Carotenoid. Xanthophyll. These pigments absorb radiation energy from the sun and convert it into chemical energy. Each pigment absorbs a specific wavelength of light energy from the electromagnetic spectrum of the sun. For example, chlorophyll A and chlorophyll B mainly absorb blue and red light. These two colors have the right wavelength to activate the chlorophyll molecules. It is important to know that the pigments in the leaves have different colors because they're different. Wavelengths reflect visible light to our eyes. Examples are, chlorophyll A is dark green, chlorophyll B is light green, carotenoid is orange, keratin is yellow and xanthophyll is gray. The importance of photosynthesis. It converts radiant energy from the sun into chemical energy. The chemical energy is stored in the form of carbohydrates which serve as food for living organisms. Oxygen is produced that requires all living organisms for cellular respiration. Carbon dioxide is used from the atmosphere keeping the atmosphere clean as well as maintaining a healthy environment. It is the origin of fossil fuels such as coal and gasoline used, become generating electricity and powering vehicles and industrial machines. It captures the energy for biofuels produced by plants. Fossil fuels can replace and therefore limit global warming. The light and dark phases of photosynthesis. Photosynthesis takes place in two steps first. The light and dark phase. The light phase, ill reaction. The phase must take place in the light, i.e. It is light dependent. It occurs in the quantosomes of the chloroplast. Quantosomes are pigment systems located in the blades of the chloroplast. The pigment systems are chlorophyll A, chlorophyll B, keratin, 
carotenoids and xanthophyll. These pigments, especially chlorophyll A and B, absorb the radiation energy and convert it into chemical energy. Part of the chemical energy is used for photolysis. Photolysis is the splitting of water molecules into oxygen gas and hydrogen ions. The oxygen gas is used for cellular respiration and is released to the atmosphere. The hydrogen ions combine with the coenzyme NADP to form NADPH used during the dark phase. The other part of the chemical energy is used to produce the energy-carrying molecule ATP. The process is known as photophosphorylation. The ATP carries the energy to the stroma to build carbohydrate molecules. NADP equals nicotinamide adenine dinucleotide phosphate. NADPH equals hydrogen nicotine amide with dinucleotide phosphate. The dark phase, Calvin cycle. It occurs in the stroma of the chloroplast. It does not require any light energy. The carbon dioxide, ATP and NADPH are used to produce energy-rich glucose molecules that combine to form starch molecules. The disturbance of food in organs as well as the factors that influence the rate of photosynthesis. Storage of food in plants. Plants usually produce more carbohydrates than they can use. Some of the carbohydrates are used to produce fats and proteins. The excessive carbohydrates are stored in the organs of the plant first. Leaves, stems, roots, flowers, seeds and fruits. The rate of photosynthesis. The rate of photosynthesis refers to the rate at which carbohydrates are produced per unit time. Factors that determine the rate of photosynthesis. Light intensity. High light intensity accelerates the rate of photosynthesis. Low light intensity lowers the rate of photosynthesis. Temperature. Optimum temperatures increase the rate of photosynthesis. Too high temperatures destroy photosynthesis enzymes and slow down the rate of photosynthesis. Low temperatures slow down the rate of photosynthesis. Too low temperatures inhibit enzyme activity. Carbon dioxide availability. High carbon dioxide concentrations increase the rate of photosynthesis. Low carbon dioxide concentrations slow down the rate of photosynthesis. Groundwater availability. Sufficient groundwater increases the rate of photosynthesis. Absence of groundwater lowers the rate of photosynthesis. Methods to increase the rate of photosynthesis. Improve light intensity, temperature, availability of carbon dioxide and availability of groundwater. This can be done by Seasonal planting of crops e.g. summer crops in summer e.g. Maize and winter crops in winter e.g. Oranges. Greenhouses or tunnel farming where the factors can be controlled for better quality products. The adaptation of plants for photosynthesis. The leaves contain mesophyll. It again contains chloroplasts. It again contains leaf pigments, all of which are responsible for converting radiation energy to chemical. Energy. Carbon dioxide penetrates the plant through the stroma and spreads through the intercellular spaces too. The mesophyll cells. The roots absorb water, which is transported to the leaves by the xylem. Sunlight penetrates the plant through the translucent epidermal cells of the leaves. Carbohydrates are produced in the mesophyll cells and transported through the phloem to the rest of the plant. Oxygen is released to the atmosphere through the stroma, but a portion is used for cellular respiration. Activity slash Assessment Learners can work out previous year's papers and follow the hyperlinks to watch the videos on the topics. Learners should research the different water sources used in their area. Educators should develop assessment activities for the learners to promote self-study. Consolidation The lesson covered all the content as prescribed by the CAPS. The learners understand the content, concepts, and concepts. Note, the knowledge and skills you have acquired in this section will help you to better understand the content and serve as an introduction to the next topic. Please like, share and subscribe to the channel for more future educational videos.